The Saints. We call ourselves the Saints. Saints Row is here in 2022 with a reboot. The game originally came out in 2006 and spawned four more Saints Row titles over the next nine years. Saints Row has a lot of content, from main missions to rivalries and other side content. Criminal Ventures is a gameplay mechanic introduced in Saints Row as an evolution of the activity system from the original series. They are used for territory takeovers and earning cash. There are a total of 14 criminal ventures in Saints Row, each with a unique function to it. Each of the districts in Santo Eliso have one spot where a criminal venture can be placed and it's up to the player where to place them. One of these is stealing cars for Jim Rob's garage. Each mission is essentially you going to a point on the map, grabbing a specific car and driving it back without being killed by the police or whoever else you've pissed off in the process. I'm not saying these missions aren't fun because they are, but the lack of variety is a little bit disappointing. Saints Row has some really good fun sequences. The main campaign has you storming a high security prison, tearing through enemy bases and competing in a murder tournament. As for the gameplay, it's a true Saints Row affair. The weapons wheel is there, you'll be hijacking cars and helicopters. Anyone who's played a Saints Row game isn't going to be surprised at the core of how this plays. Honestly, I was a little bit disappointed in things feeling a little bit too familiar because there's a lot less nostalgia at play here and more things being the same as they were. That being said, the shooting and the driving are the best they've ever been, with those systems tuned to being nearly perfect, along with a large arsenal of weapons and vehicles to enjoy. On the map, you'll have a lot to discover and Santo Eliso is packed with both main and side missions alike. You'll be able to finish the main story in about 10-12 hours, but trust me when I say it's just a small piece of the pie. While Saints Row can rely a bit on quantity over quality, there's a lot of things to do on the map. Some things are as easy as searching a dumpster or taking a photo of a landmark, but where things get more complex is the empire looking to build. We have the new flow system, a welcome addition to the Saints Row combat experience. As you progress through the game, you'll unlock skills that you can use during combat to destructive effect. These range from grenades and smoke bombs to anime fire punches and vampiric health stealing buffs. With abilities, takedowns and the massively over the top gunplay, it will make you feel a little bit superhuman. It rarely feels like a fair fight. In fact, mowing down hundreds of enemies in Saints Row often feels gratuitous. The majority of vehicles are also completely customizable allowing you to mix and match with paint jobs, extra fittings and even hood ornaments should it strike your fancy. There are a wide range of distinct rides on offer as you make your way through Saints Row's busy open world. Muscle cars, convertibles and even jet bikes are readily available to those that just go in search of them. Fans of the series will be pleased to know that the radio is back too, allowing you to cruise down the highway accompanied by anything from back to KRS-1. Graphically, Saints Row feels like it's stuck between generations. The customization in the game is crazy. You can try it yourself via the Saints Row boss factory and it will give you a taste of the game looking its very best. Getting into the game proper, however, you'll see a blend of detailed character models and somewhat meh environments. Still, there's something to be said for the gangs. Each of the criminal organizations in Saints Row have a theme and here they embrace it to the hilt. From the matching orange gang jackets with cars to match. A lot of thought and effort went into these characters and it shows. I just wish the environments lived up to the same standard. Overall, if you play Saints Row, I guarantee that something about it will make you laugh. It might be a quip from one of the central cast that gets you, or perhaps you will revel in the childlike joy that only comes from flipping a car full of police officers over with a dumper truck. Despite sometimes seeming ashamed of its own excesses, Violation packs in enough of them to amuse almost everyone. Who messes with the Saints? No one! I said, who messes with the Saints? No one! You're goddamn right, no one! You are aware that didn't solve the issue, 
right? Yeah, but he was being a dick. <laughs>